Outside Lick Creek Cave in Cascade County, you'll find a large sign with information about white nose syndrome. We've known about white nose since about 2006, 2007, um, and so we've slowly been watching it progress, you know, westward from New York State. It's caused by a fungus. Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks non-game biologist Shannon Hilty was one of the biologists who discovered the fungus in the cave during a bat survey in May. White nose syndrome is an often fatal disease that causes bats to become irritated and dehydrated and come out of winter hibernation early, causing them to use up the fat they need to survive the winter. All the bats that I held and swabbed in the cave, they looked really healthy to me, so I was feeling okay about the survey. Even so, because the fungus was found, when biologists go back to the cave for another survey next year, they expect to find some bats will have developed the disease. The U.S. Forest Service, which manages the cave, has decided to close it until further notice to try to help prevent the spread of the disease. There are a lot of, I guess, treatments that are still largely experimental. Um, you know, there are things like applying UV light to substrates, so like entire caves to kind of zap the fungus that way, um, as well as like vaccines. That's easier said than done, though, because in Montana and the West as a whole, she says the majority of bats don't hibernate in caves. The question is then, what would we treat? According to FWP, white nose syndrome has been confirmed in 40 states and eight Canadian provinces and has killed over 6 million bats since 2006. A single like little brown myotis can eat anywhere between 1,200 and 1,600 mosquitoes in a single hour. Um, so that's a huge number of insects, you know, if you're thinking about pest control for maybe forest health or agriculture, um, that money adds up and I think they're estimating like $53 billion annually in terms of like savings on agricultural um, pest control. A small animal with a big impact. In Cascade County, Coulter Anstat, MTN News.